Hey guys, as you'll notice, we got a little setting change here. Uh, I'm not in my bat cave at home doing the econ guru thing. Uh, I'm here in my, my classroom, which you guys probably recognize. Uh, so we're testing out this new BCPS device, and you notice I got a new hat. This will be thank you to Siam. Uh, now, Siam gave me the hat, but he also had the sunglasses on, so I assumed that you had to wear both at the same time when wearing one of these things. He assured me that uh, I'd look cool wearing this, so hopefully uh, I don't look like a nerd. Uh, anyways, so we got a question here. Income elasticity of demand. This is for micro folks. Uh, and on the micro test, this might come up. You're going to have to understand the concept. You might not have to know the formula. Uh, if you need it, if you have a question about this, you can ask me, but you can also ask Chow Yang because she could have made this video. Uh, she's so good at this. She did this in class or at the review session last night, so she's top notch here. Uh, so the idea is what we're going to do is we're going to compare the income to our demand here. So some things you'll notice if we get richer, so if our income, I'm going to use purple here, if our income rises, goes up, uh, we're going to buy more of them. Chow Yang said Lamborghini. Sure. I'm richer. I'm going to buy. I'm going to demand uh, Lambos. Goes up. And if you notice, they're both going to increase. So you could know the whole formula, Q2 minus Q1 over Q2 plus Q, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but you're probably not going to be able to have to do all that math. But if you know they're both going up, then this is going to give you a positive number. And what are goods like Lambos referred to as? They are normal goods. And if you think about it in the reverse, if the income goes down, you're going to demand fewer Lambos. So you've got a negative number and a negative number up there. Still, negative divided by negative gives you a positive number. You get a normal good. However, there are also some goods that our income goes up and the demand, instead of increasing... Oh, there's the bell. Our income goes up, but our demand will fall. So we are rich, but we're not going to buy those things anymore. For example, I can't remember what Xiao Ying used. Oh, yes, I do. Think of an example. Can you think of one? Oodles of noodles. When I'm rich, I'm not buying oodles of noodles. No, no, no. I'm going out lobster dinners, baby. Lobster dinners. Uh, so these are not normal goods. These would be inferior goods. And you'll notice that if the income goes up, and it, so that's positive. The demand goes down. This is negative. When you get a negative number for your income elasticity of demand, you have an inferior good. And think about it in reverse. When my income is lower, what am I going to buy? Oodles and noodles. Uh, hope you uh, understand the concept. If I get this up on, B on uh, YouTube, it could be the first YouTube video made with these new ga gadgets for the BCPS teachers. It'll be the coolest thing in the world. All right, uh, let's see how it works. Hopefully, if you have any, uh, let me know if there's any like video problems, if it worked better or worse than in my uh, econ cave. All right, let me know, guys. Talk to you later.